The TV personality received the devastating diagnosis in 2015, following a medical checkup while working on the program Supersizers. Speaking about the experience, Sue Perkins described it as pure destruction. It's only really now that I consider the epic destruction this tiny little rice-shaped thing in my pituitary gland has caused, she told BBC Radio 4. Sometimes it's big and makes me mad, and sometimes it's small and is in the background. Sometimes it screws up my hormones. I have various tests now to make sure the side effects aren't too onerous. Brain tumor on the pituitary gland Macmillan Cancer Support explained that the pituitary gland is a small, oval-shaped gland at the base of the brain. The pituitary gland is tasked with creating hormones, which go on to control other hormone-producing glands in the body, such as the adrenal and thyroid glands. Pituitary gland tumors are usually benign, meaning they do not spread to other parts of the brain. Len Goodman Health, former Strictly Come Dancing judge's early warning of ill health the tumor can, however, cause issues if it grows and presses on the surrounding brain tissue. The benign brain tumor may also secrete hormone and completely stop producing hormones. Prolactin-secreting tumors can lead to a regular menstrual period and, for men, it can lead to erectile dysfunction and loss of libido. The Macmillan Cancer Charity added, overproduction of growth hormones can cause a condition called acromegaly. Lung Cancer Symptoms Three of the most important symptoms of a growing tumor, symptoms Nadia Hussain Health. TV chef's health battle she fights against every day of her life, mental health COVID booster vaccine, more side effects likely for third jab, here is why, COVID, this leads to abnormal growth and causes enlargement of the hands, feet, lower jaw and brows. Acromegaly can lead to high blood pressure diabetes excess sweating sleep apnea syndrome. Most people diagnosed with a brain tumor will not be allowed to drive for a time after their diagnosis, the charity added. If you have a driving license, you must tell the licensing agency you have been diagnosed with a brain tumor. Cancer Research UK pointed out that about 8 out of every 100 brain tumors diagnosed in England between 2006 to 2010 were pituitary tumors. For a small tumor that is not causing any symptoms, medical professionals may monitor the condition. Monitoring the condition involves undergoing regular MRI scans, and if the tumor begins to start causing symptoms, other treatments will be considered. For instance, surgery is a common option, where a neurosurgeon removes as much of the tumor as possible. If the whole of the pituitary gland is removed, hormone replacement might be needed. Alternatively, radiotherapy may also be an option to address the brain tumor, where high-energy X-rays kill tumor cells. If the tumor is secreting too many hormones, medication might be needed to reduce the secretion of prolactin. Sue Perkins will star on ITV's The Jonathan Ross Show on Saturday, November 20 at 9.30 p.m.